in this video, I will be showing you my annex results. So first off, I went to their walk-in place and uh, gave them a coin for them to do, which was this 1958 proof silver quarter. And basically, they gave me a free rush order, walked me through the process, and uh, they let me use the sonic welder and seal it up myself and stuff. It's pretty cool. So I do predictions, as you can see, of what I think they'll be. So this one I thought it would be a proof 62, but it actually was a proof 65. So I'm off quite a bit, but I have gotten a few right. So this was the first thing. Now, um, and they put a special thing for me and everything, proof 65. Um, so now I'll show you the second order I just did. So this order was just a normal one, and I just went in, dropped it off, and three weeks later, they came. So the first coin is an 1857 Flying Eagle scent. I thought this would be a G4, but it's a very good 10 details, because it is damaged. I didn't know that, but it's real, uh, really okay. I don't really care. Our next coin is a 1907... Indian head scent. Now, I thought this would be a very fine 20, and it was a very fine 20, so I got that one right. So let's put that one in and grab the next one. Now, this next one is an 1832 capped bust dime. I thought this would be a fair 2, but it turned out to be a, a about good 3. Not too bad. Pretty cool coin. Next one is a 1891 New Orleans Seated Liberty Dime. I thought this one would be an about good three, and I was correct. It wasn't about good three. It's a nice coin. Next coin. Uh, this is a 1914 Denver Mint Barber Quarter. Now, um, I thought it would be a fair... I mean, a fine 12, but it was actually lower than that. It was a very good 8, but that's okay. <clears throat> this next coin is a 1964 Denver Mint Silver Quarter. My grandma got to, and kept it <clears throat> and gave it to my mom because this was my mom's birth year. And my estimate was correct. I thought it would be an AU58, and it was. Here's an 1853 New Orleans half dime. Um, I thought this would be a, what did I think this would be? I thought it would be a fine 12, but it was actually just a very good 10 details, because it's bent. But that was all this. <coughs> final coin. This is an 1881 Morgan dollar, and um, it had a VF, very fine 25 details. Um, it is a details grade because it is quite scratched up on the obverse, especially on her cheek, and um, it's also been polished, which I didn't know. I received this from a friend, but yeah. So thanks for watching. I should be getting another um, order coming in August 4th. Sorry. Right, so yeah. Bye.